Welcome to Big Design Club. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick walkthrough on how to use Big Design Club. So Big Design Club is a huge, massive library of different graphic visual templates. So we have all sort of templates for every occasion. So you will find warning signs. We have badges. We have buttons such as call to actions. We even have flyers as well. We have various type of flyers over here. All right, so the, all these flyers are in higher resolution, so they can be printed as well. And we also have all sort of stuff over here. So we have quotes, we have stickers, we have a uh, badges as well, right up here. We have badges, so we have all sort of stuff, and we have a huge library of 3D mockup as well. So such as 3D ebook design, and we have boxes, 3D boxes. All right, so we have corporate identity. Okay, so we have ebooks as well. So all these 3D ebooks, you know, they are perfect for creating that Kindle cover. Or let's say if you are giving away a free report, you know, all these um, 3D mock out are perfect for that. And we also have laptop and computer. All right, so we have uh, handphone and tabs as well. So now let's get started. Let's just pick one random template, okay? And we're gonna customize it, okay? And after that, we're gonna export it to image. So we can use them in our website, in our email, or in any places that you like, okay? So let's pick stickers, all right? So we're gonna head over to the sticker patch over here, and we're gonna randomly pick one of the stickers that we like. Now for this demo purposes, we're gonna randomly pick um, pick one of the uh, stick over here. So let's just imagine for a second that we are running a 50% sales on our website. So what we're going to do is that we're going to pick this um, this image right here. So we're going to edit the 70%. So instead of 70%, we're going to customize it to 50%. So what we need to do is just to click on the edit online button over here and our online editor will pop out. And after that, what we need to, need to do is just to customize it inside our graphic editor over here all right so everything has been loaded all we need to do is to click on the text button over here the type 2 now if you have used it photoshop before this is pretty much a walk in the park but even if you don't it is very very straightforward as well so all you need to do is to um, if you want to edit the text over here all we need to do is to click on the text tool over here or what we're going to do is that Alternatively, we can select this very layer here. To select this very layer here, all we need to do is to right click, and after that, you just select the 70% over here. Okay, so you select the 70% over here, then you click on the text tool over here, then you click on the text layer that you like to edit. So we're going to modify this one to 50%. So I'm going to replace it with 50%. And uh, you can also uh, you can also modify it. Let let let's say if if you want to customize the font style, you can do that as well. You can just select the font layer here, then you click on the fonts selection over here. Then you will be presented with all sort of fonts that you can use for this very font over here. So let's say if you want to use something like this, you can just click on it and it will update accordingly to the font that you like to use. So I'm uh, so this one is a little bit bigger than what we have previously. So I think we'll just stick to the original one. So I will not save these changes. I'm gonna click on cancel over here. Okay, so after that, I just need to modify this text layer here again to 50%. Okay, so one, once I'm done with 50%, I'm satisfied with everything. The next step is to export this very layer into image. So all you need to do is to click on the file button over here. Then you head over to export as. So you'll be presented with many choices over here. You can export the, 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 the document as PNG. You can export as JPEG, SVG, GIF, or PDF. Okay, so since we want to use it on our website, we're going to export it as PNG. We're gonna, we are not going to export as JPEG. And I'm going to explain to you because if you look at this very document here, this very document is with transparent background. So if you export as JPEG, that very transpa transparent background will not be retained. Okay, so we need to export as J as PNG, my apologies, PNG, because PNG support transparent background. So this is the very format that we are going to export. So if so, once we are ready, just click on the PNG button over here. Then after that, we just click on the save button over here. Then after that, we just uh, browse to the folders that we like, okay, which is this very folder here, the downloads folder. Then we click on save. There you go. 
All right, then after that, all we need to do is to op open the folder where we saved our file. So this is the image that we have exported. As you can see, the, this is the final image that we have exported and it is an image with transparent background, which is what we want, okay? And let's say if you want to save this document and you want to customize it later, you can do that as well. All you need to do is to open up the file button over here, then you click on the save button over here. So if you click on the save button over here, what it does is that it will save to your account. It will save to your Big Design Club account and you can re retrieve it in the future. So all you need to do to retrieve this very document, okay, that you have saved it, is head back to the Big Design Club website. Then you scroll all the way down, then you see a link over here. It says my saved templates. So if you click on this very link, it will bring to the page where you have saved all your templates. So this is the template that we have saved a while ago. All right, so all you need, need to do over here uh, in the later stage in the future, let's say you want to come back to this very uh, this very document again, you just need to click on the edit button. So if you click on the edit button, all right, it will open out this, uh, the graphic editor again, and you can reuse this very template again. Okay. And there is, is an, another way you can save this template as well, because we want to provide a lot of flexibility to you in a situation where you do not want to save this very template inside your big design club. What you can do is that you can click on the save button. Now, my apologies, you can click on the file button, then you can click save as PSD, okay? So if you click save as PSD, all right, you can, you can save this very template in your computer. And after that, you can open out this PSD file in the future, okay? So you can open, you, you can even open the PSD file using Photoshop if you have a Photoshop soft, software. It's that easy. All right, so that is the end of our quick walkthrough video. And I thank you very much for watching.